Turn on, I'm, um, I'm grabbing. Hey. What's going on? Hey, uh, what shall I say? One second. <laughs> Is there any way you could look up in the system to see if I still have one of our Hoyt? Uh, at Hoyt? No, I can only check, um, here. Okay, yeah. okay, cool. I just, I live over in Cornell, and I keep getting mail, like, here and there. Yeah, mine just came in from Cornell, too. Really? So, uh, <laughs> I think it's just they didn't feel like taking it, because I just got all the mail that just came in, like, 20 minutes ago, was all Cornell. Seriously? Yeah. Wow, So okay. they probably just didn't feel like it. <laughs> yeah, well, thank you. You are, huh? Wait. Ah. Dang. Dang. I missed it. Anyway, so uh, one of my jobs, I work at the front desk or whatever. But anyway, um, Nia Forlocks Oil. She's a um, black business owner of oil for your hair. And uh, I don't know. I just, I just, I just found out. So, Nia the Lot God, she's done Derrick Rose, the basketball player. Um, he got oil from her. The results on her page is like amazing. So I'm a, um, I'm gonna drop it. But you see the package? Like, you see the packaging? It's nice. <clears throat> Talk about presentation. Presentation. See, I'm in school for sport management, but also for marketing and social media and stuff like that. But anyway, for marketing, this is this is what gets people to come back and buy products. You feel me? It got nice. I know y'all rushing, like hurry up and take it out, but hold on. We're about to appreciate all this. This is beautiful. Look at this. This is beautiful. This is freaking beautiful, okay? My nail's dirty? I hope not. This is freaking beautiful. Got a little something at the bottom, but got my Stimulating oil for my scalp. It say how to use, let me read this. After you lightly damper your scalp, hair shaft, and new growth with our signature lock, God hydration mist. Apply the oil directly to your scalp, new growth, and hair shaft, and massage the product in. Apply the two, two to three times a week. Ingredients. Grapeseed oil, avocado oil, lemongrass oil, peppermint oil. Quit playing. Uh, hold on. I think it's over here. Shaft. I do WR scalp, hair shaft, and new growth with our signature lock hydration. So, is this our signature lock hydration? Hold on. This is nice. Oh my God. After you lightly dap your scalp, hair, chaff, and new growth with our signature locks, hydration mix, apply. Uh, so, oh, so I spray this first. I spray this first. Ooh.
Oh my God. Spray your hydration mist all over your scalp, new growth and lock chef or loose natural hair. Hydration mist will leave your hair feeling softer, more moisturized, more manageable and buttery to the touch. I'm not lying. I don't know if y'all can, hold on. I don't know if y'all can read that. Probably not, but spray this product on your locks or loose natural hair daily. Daily, so as soon as I get off work, I'm spraying this on my head. Ingredients, lavender infused water, vegetable glycerin, aloe vera juice, I know what that is, and lavender oil. I wanna smell it. Ooh, ooh. I wanna drink it. Say no, let me stop playing. Bro, this is amazing. This is like the best like presentation I've ever seen. I'll have to take a picture and when I get back on social media, I've been off for two weeks, I'm gonna freaking take a picture and tag it like. Hey, oh, that's a thumbnail, hold on. Okay, hold on, wait, I gotta do it again. Dang, I can't do it on the phone, but. Anyway, so, um, this was just like, I was just sitting at work and my package had came, so I guess I'll turn this into a vlog and just, um, I don't know, we gotta turn this into a vlog. I don't know, this was so impromptu, but it's okay. That's that's what happens with content creating sometimes. You, you just, I give y'all a story time. I'ma turn a haul for my oil um, into a story time. This is amazing. This is beautiful. This is chef's kiss. This is what I'm talking about right here. Oh, this is, I hope she prosper and just just blow up. Like she she's going doing her thing. I'm just I'm just praying for more prosperity. That's all I'm doing. I'm just. show y'all again where I started my locks from. Don't mind this. So, ooh, ooh, ooh. I know I'm gonna give y'all story time out. So I had my first, I had my first salon dilemma, right? So I'm at the screenshot and then put it inside um, the video. So I got a stylist, right? And, um, I hit her up like last week. I was like, hey, you know, I'm trying to get my hair done. And um, 
Yeah, because I, I intern with, you know, sports, whatever, and I want to keep my hair up inside the business center. So, like, can I come get my hair done today? She went, yeah, come at five. No, she said before, between four and five. I said, okay, I can come at five. So, so what happened? Oh, me and my friend Dennis, um, from the last two vlogs, and we freaking, what were we doing? We was at the mall, because I was shopping. I got a photo shoot coming up soon, so I'm going to show y'all those soon, too, when it happened. So, yeah, so it's like 2 o'clock at the mall, so I come back, eat. So I'm like, okay, I text her, like, yeah, I'm going to go get a haircut um, first. I line up. I get to the barbershop. He freaking told me, no, just come in. This I can't say that word, but this ninja is in Arizona. I'm gonna post the, the screenshot of the messages too. This man is in Arizona. So I'm like, bro, if I had to go down to, that's like where she worked at. So I go down there, pay for a lineup, $5 more than what I normally do. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. You see that? Why is it still here right here? It's supposed to be tapered. So I'm, I'm heated, I'm heated. So I get to the, the salon cause he worked the barber work in the salon. So before he even come out here, I walked in and I peep in her little room. So you know, I have like, so it's like a salon. It's like a big room, but inside it got like many like other rooms or whatever. So, um, so I go in there and then um, I peep in her room. And it's empty. So I'm like, what? So I look up to him like, yo, where she at? He was like, he didn't say nothing. He was like, mm, mm, mm. Bro, what did that mean? What did mm, mm, mm mean? So that's why I was like, bro, you cutting hair? He had one. So he cut my hair. <laughs> Poo. So, mm, uh, Damn, I can't speak languages. Um, we got the with my haircut, so I called her like, "Hey, I'm down here at the salon. Um, what's going on? Good, how are you?" How are you? So I, I get down, and then uh, I called her, and I was like, "Yo, like, what you want me to do?" Um, like, where you at? Like, I didn't know you wasn't in the shop or whatever. She's like, yeah, I'm not down. I'm like, dang, you wasn't going to, like, inform me or whatever. Because when she first asked, she was like, yo, who is this? DeAndre. DeAndre who? Bro, DeAndre, you do my hair all the time. She's like, I've done your hair before. I'm like, bro, you've done my hair the last four times. Like, it's February now. Like, you've been doing my hair since October. So, I'm like, bro. Um, uh, I apologize. So I'm like, yeah, you where you want me to come at? It's like it's five thirty, like or it's five, like where you want me to go? She's like, yeah, I've been doing hair since um, I've been doing hair since no, I'm doing a hair right now. I've been doing hair since nine o'clock this morning. I'm like, okay, like. I said that in my head, okay, but I'm like, so what you wanna do, what you, where you want me to come? Like, she was like, you know, my best advice is for you to come tomorrow or this week. Bro, you made me, you told me to come at five o'clock. I drove 45 minutes to like an hour to come down here to get my hair done. And my hair not done. So there was a lady across the street, not across the street, but across the hall so i asked her and i was like hey you know i was being polite i have deandre um i do you have any more heads like that you're doing tonight like i was like i'm gonna get my head done she's like no nah. uh she like no nah, i'm done after this last one um so i walked away <clears throat> then i was like you know what girly then sent me on the freaking field trip down here and wasn't even here. So 
I went back in the room like, hey, um, do you mind if I get your number? I, I would like to request your services or whatever. Uh, one second. <clears throat> so I got her number and I hit her up. I was trying to get my hair done the next day. And then she was like, uh, she can't do it until Wednesday. This was all this happened on Sunday or Saturday. Wednesday come. I'm in Michigan, freaking snowstorm. But that ain't stop me though. That ain't stop me. That ain't stop me. That ain't stop nothing. That ain't stop nothing at all. Mm -mm. I took my little um, front wheel, front wheel drive. Me and me and Earl, and we made it down there. I tell you that. We made it down there. So that was uh, my first hair salon little thing I, I had going on. I wasn't feeling it. I wasn't feeling that. I don't like that. Mm -mm. I don't like that at all. But that was it. <sighs> I'm tired. You yawning yet? Look, I got tears coming out my eyes. Oh, child. Oof. But I'm at work. I work at the front desk of my university housing. So I'm just in here chilling. Um, I get off at three. It's 126. And then once I get off, I gotta drive down to my internship. That's like 50 minutes. I'm prep for that because we got a game. So I'm like the stage manager, <clears throat> promotion, marketing, intern down there for uh, our Detroit Pistons G League team. So. It's the same. It's like minor league baseball, but for basketball, NBA G League. So it's like development and stuff like that. But it's cool. We uh, Motor City Cruise. You feel me? If you want to look us up, I think we first or second in the Eastern Conference. So yeah, and then um, I'll probably do a little challenge or something for y'all next week. I don't know if y'all can um, how the volume sound because. I'm not like too loud because I'm in a work center and I don't want to um, be too loud. You feel me? So <clears throat> thank you for joining me with my little haul. Check her out. I'll put her link to um, the oil and the bio. And uh, thank you for listening to my first story time dilemma it wasn't all that i told you this was so impromptu i was just like sitting here then it came and i was like taking the tape off and i was like i should record this like me taking this off or whatever and then that's why i was like you know what might as well give a little story time because then when i was doing it it was only like four minutes might as well add to 12 more minutes you feel me of talking make a whole video of me just sitting here you feel me? So, mi casa, su casa. Make that up. There it goes. Let me take it out. Uh, kiss it for y'all. Put it in the envelope. down, fold it, boom, fold it one more time, boom, one more time, boom, take it, put it inside, uh, slingshot, did you catch it? I hope you did, but you feel me, thank you, you feel me, thank you for listening to me rant, alright, thank you, I appreciate it, um, catch me on my next video it'd be more planned out whatever but i want to give y'all this raw footage you feel me because I, sometimes i feel like you gotta be you gotta be open and raw sometimes you feel me people want to see what you do or just kick it with you so you feel me